Hello everyone, I think we are ready to get started. Uh, my name is Violet McLeod. I'm the Media Relations Advisor for the Department of Education and Early Childhood Development. And I'm gonna start us with some housekeeping items. Um, and you know, before I begin, uh, I'd like to note that we in Nova Scotia are located within Mi'kma'ki and acknowledge that this is the traditional and ancestral territory of the Mi'kmaq people. I'd also like to note that these lands are covered by the Treaties of Peace and Friendship. And Rick Hansen, who is in BC, is joining us from the traditional territories of the Coast Salish Nations, Stolo, Shamanas, and the Musqueam peoples. And uh, we're pleased to share that this press conference today is being offered with live captioning and ASL interpretation. I understand those who have RSVP'd will have received the directions for how to access um, those directions are also listed in the chat function and uh, Richard Martell is our ASL interpreter. If you would like to pin his screen, uh, that will be the best way to uh, watch along with the ASL interpretation. So for today's agenda, our three speakers will be sharing remarks followed by a short demonstration from the department after which reporters may ask questions. And if time allows, we'll also open the floor for the many stakeholders who have joined us today uh, for any additional questions or comments. Uh, please note media outlets are recording and may broadcast uh, today's announcement. So anyone who has joined us can turn off their camera now. With that, I'd like to hand it over to the Honorable Kevin Murphy, Speaker of the Nova Scotia House of Assembly to start today's announcement. Kevin, please go ahead. Good afternoon, everybody, and thank you for joining us here today. Uh, my name is Kevin Murphy. I'm the MLA for Eastern Shore and the Speaker of the Nova Scotia House of Assembly, and I'll be your moderator for today's announcement. And I'm pleased to be here with you all uh, and to be joined by my colleague in the Nova Scotia House of Assembly, our Education and Early Childhood Development Minister, uh, Zach Churchill as well as HRCE Elementary School teacher, Leah Fummerton, and of course, well-known activist, uh, Canadian athlete and a genuine hero. And I'm pleased to say a longtime friend of mine, uh, some 35 years, uh, Mr. Rick Hansen, all the way from BC, the CEO of the Rick Hansen Foundation. Today's announcement is on a topic that is near and dear to my heart and one that I truly believe is important to all of our communities and one that government continues to take meaningful steps uh, in moving forward on. And that topic is accessibility and inclusion. Promoting accessibility and inclusion in the way that we all work, do business and provide services, including how we teach our children and educate our children improves the daily life for each and every Nova Scotians. And with that, I'm pleased to turn it over to my colleague, the Honorable Zach Churchill, Minister of Education and Early Childhood Development for Nova Scotia. Minister Churchill. Thank you so much, uh, Speaker Murphy, for being with us today. I'm really excited uh, to be with, with um, everyone as we promote this new and I think very exciting initiative in partnership with the Rick Hansen Foundation. Uh, a partnership that I know will allow us to get more learning resources into the hands of Nova Scotia's teachers, helping them teach a new generation of students about inclusive education and accessibility. So first, let me provide a warm Nova Scotia welcome to uh, Rick Hansen, who's joining us today. Um, Rick is a Canadian icon, and Rick, I do want to thank you for uh, the work that you've done, not just working with our government in Nova Scotia on our accessibility legislation, on initiatives such as this, but your advocacy uh, across uh, the country and the world, which I believe is helping change our culture around thinking about um, accessibility issues and, and solutions and how, uh, you know, we all, we all think about these things. Uh, and of course, the uh, inspirational role that I think you've played in the lives of uh, countless people who may themselves be dealing with um, various uh, accessibility challenges or, or other challenges related to um, uh, to disability. So thank you for everything that you uh, you're, you're doing for uh, for people and and for governments in this country. I do want to thank um, 
uh, Leah Fummerton as well, who's a dedicated elementary school teacher who's a difference maker in so many ways in her school community and beyond. Thank you, Leah, for being with us today. And of course, uh, Speaker Murphy, who not only has uh, been a chief advocate within our caucus and government uh, for accessibility issues, but who also is, uh, sits in the first accessible seat in the Commonwealth uh, in the speaker's chair. That's the first accessible speaker's uh, chair in, in the whole Commonwealth. And that's something that uh, we're very proud to, um, uh, to be a part of here in, in Nova Scotia. And I know that there's many, uh, many of the people in attendance today are, are leaders in the field of accessibility. So it gives me great pleasure to announce uh, this partnership that we have with the Rick, Han with the Rick Hansen Foundation. And I know teachers like Leah do so much to educate their students to promote inclusive education and accessibility. And certainly the province's inclusive education policy is one of the key things that we're doing to make our schools places that embrace and value each student and the unique gifts that they bring to the table. And this is an important uh, reminder um, as we seek to make our schools a place for inclusive education uh, for, for all learners that we always have more work to do. And this is, of course, true, you know, when we enter into African Heritage Month uh, this month in February. And uh, it needs to be true uh, every day of the year uh, for all of our students. But we know that we need quality resources to support our teachers in doing this uh, important and critical work. So today I'm pleased to announce that curriculum learning resources from the Rick Hansen Foundation School Program are available to all teachers throughout our entire province. Thanks to our partnership with the Rick Hansen Foundation, every teacher in this province will be able to access resources to support learning and teaching in the area of inclusivity and accessibility. These resources include toolkits, presentations, and a series of grade primary to 12 lesson plans and ideas that support learning about accessibility, inclusive education, and active citizenship. In fact, we are actively promoting these resources and they have been on the curriculum website for a little while now. And uh, during our first week back from Christmas break, which we did uh, keep our students home and allowed our teachers to do professional development, we had over 13,000 um, um, uh, clicks uh, on, the, on, on uh, this, this, uh, this web uh, resource. So there's a lot of traffic where we're putting this, uh, these Rick Hansen resources. And uh, it's obvious to me that um, our teachers are going to uh, take advantage of. And of course, we're promoting it uh, heavily within uh, the ranks of our, our teaching population as well. And we know, uh, you know, fundamentally our schools are diverse communities and they're filled with people of different gifts and different talents. And by promoting greater awareness, by using these resources, we're teaching students to embrace each other's differences so that, uh, you know, I really do believe that uh, this will impact on the inclusivity of um, communities today and, and into the future. And we want to make sure that we do have a meaningful conversation about accessibility in our classrooms. And these resources from the Rick Hansen Foundation will, I think, be a critical piece of the support that's in place for teachers to make that happen. Uh, and of course, this is part of government's broader accessibility agenda. Um, and uh, we now have an all of government approach to addressing accessibility that's enshrined in, in legislation in the Accessibility Act. And so this, I think, is a, another component of that broader work. Uh, so with that said, I, do, I now uh, want to hand it over to the person that everyone's actually here to listen to, and that's uh, Rick Hansen. And, and Rick, thank you so much for uh, your time on this, your support of our um, efforts to make our classrooms more inclusive and accessible, and for always being there to uh, talk to and, and seek advice from and we're, we're looking for it. So uh, please over to you. Well, thanks very much, Minister Churchill. I uh, want to thank you and your Ministry of Education, Government of Nova Scotia for your exceptional commitment to continue the original journey that I started over 30, which is a goal and a dream to create an accessible and inclusive world for people with disabilities so that they could make a meaningful contribution and to participate in the places and spaces that they live, work, learn, and play. And, uh, you know, Honorable Kevin Murphy, wow, I just uh, am so blown away at how far you've come since that day that I came through Nova Scotia and you were on the stage representing your community and you've uh, shown ability, uh, you're uh, representing your constituency, your government, and uh, setting a tone for people around the world about what's possible 
And we've made a lot of progress since I arrived uh, all those years ago and, and so many champions have been part of that. I wanna congratulate the government of Nova Scotia for implementing their legislative commitment. These are really fantastic uh, vision statements about uh, the Nova Scotia that you wish to create. And uh, there's uh, still work to be done to try to formalize that in various institutions and that's why I want to say a huge thank you to uh, the ministry uh, for your adoption of the school program and uh, obviously the resources that are uh, you know, going to be introduced to the entire province of Nova Scotia as a formal part of the curriculum uh, to be available at no cost for teachers everywhere. And this is really uh, powerful because it helps you continue to be a leader in diversity, equity and inclusion. And you're really taking an opportunity to educate the next generation of young difference makers who will normalize this issue. The reality is it is a multi-generational ultra marathon of social change, not one man in motion, many. And as we normalize this, thanks to the power of teachers and educators, uh, we're going to see profound acceleration of progress. And it really gives me tremendous hope and inspiration. I also want to congratulate Congratulate the ministry and educators in Nova Scotia for the great work that you've done in being resilient and adapting to COVID-19 during this challenging period. You worked together to be able to keep students safe, uh, to help them continue to learn and to be responsive uh, in the best way you possibly can. And all of us are a team as we continue to do our best to make a difference. And there's no question that this school program would not have been possible without an amazing team at our foundation. I want to thank my team for taking the leadership over all these years and also the incredible sponsors, Boston Pizza Foundation's Future Prospects, Scotiabank and other generous supporters who really have helped us develop this curriculum and provide it online uh, and make sure that it's available at no cost. Uh, this is important because we want people to recognize that this should be available to everyone everywhere. And we've been able to expand our resources into both official languages in English and French in every province and territory across our country. 5,500 schools, 12,000 educators and over 3,200 new educators just this year alone. And I wanna encourage every educator to be able to go online as Minister Churchill mentioned and continue to explore the resources to utilize them and bring them to life in your classroom and to help youth become aware, have positive attitudes and be champions of change because we recognize that there are still more barriers to overcome and remove. Now, what's really exciting about the school program from my perspective is that it actually is also open to bring champions, ambassadors who have lived experience with people with disabilities, having a chance to be able to show ability and potential recognize that they have uh, fantastic stories and through their stories we create hope and inspiration through their stories we highlight barriers and then inspire people to to take up the challenge and so i want to say a special thank you to some key nova scotia ambassadors alex leblanc and uh, mark hobbs from the actual community who have been available and very prolific in being able to get out there and uh, and spread their amazing story and encourage others to participate this school program uh, is also available you know, virtually for uh, the ambassador program from other parts of the country as well. So we were able to really in many ways build the, the, the cross Canada fabric of you know, the shared values and know that you know, although it's a large country, uh, we're united by those values and we're committed to help and support each other along the way. The built environment is also a powerful barrier that still needs to continue to be removed. And I'm sure that as youth are focusing on the barriers that are out there through these lessons and through ambassadors, they'll be able to get out there and continue to make sure that the places and spaces that we live, work, play and learn are fully accessible and inclusive. I know that that's the government of Nova Scotia's commitment by 2030. And I'm sure by having teachers be champions of change and youth joining this movement, we'll definitely get there faster. And we can get there faster because together we're stronger. So I want to thank you again, Minister Churchill and the ministry for all your incredible support. This is a great partnership. And I'm really looking forward to this being an inspiration to other parts of the country 
other ministers of education and ministries and hopefully an encouragement all around the world so we can create that original vision of a world that is accessible and inclusive for everyone. Thanks very much. And now I'd like to be able to actually introduce one of the amazing educators who has been representing and participating in the school program. And she was one of our 2019 difference makers and that's Leah, Leah Fumerton. And Leah, I just wanna say congratulations on all the great work. And I know you wanna be able to show people just kind of some of the insight and ways in which you've been able to bring that school program to life in your classroom. Absolutely. Uh, thank you. I'm so humbled to be a part of this process and this announcement. And I've witnessed firsthand how even just a fraction of those resources can really support a teacher and students and wanting to be agents for change. Uh, it started with a, an ambassador um, assembly that my class attended a couple years ago. And the questions and the safe space that was created to ask those questions um, to the ambassador and then beyond to the classroom was just amazing. The energy was so great. And I saw in them a want to question what is around us, like how do we improve that for people? And so we extended that by doing an accessibility walk around the school and they really wanted to know what can we do now? And I thought this is fantastic because they're they're so young, but they're so motivated and they want to make their environment better for everybody. Uh, so with this new um, curriculum, this access to a complete online consistent will only, it's critical for us to band together and make this full inclusion possible. And I can see that passion in these kids. I see it every day. I'm a huge advocate for inclusion and accessibility and the kids are just waiting. They're, they're, they're hungry for change. They want everyone to feel like they have equal access to things. And I just, it was a powerful moment to realize that these programs were there and these kids were, were so excited to say, what can we do? How can we include everybody? Um, so really, I'm just so excited to see where we can go as educators with these resources. Um, where they're accessible easily to us consistently. And um, I'm just so excited and honored to be a part of the Rick Hansen Foundation family. It's been uh, life-changing for me and I know my students, I, I rose to their want and their desire for change. So I see myself as the adult that was able to open doors for those kids. So I'm, I'm very humbled again to be a part of this journey. So thank you very much to uh, everybody involved to make this happen. And I know that there's educators out there every day who fight for inclusion and accessibility. And this is going to just make that, that journey a whole lot more uh, accessible and uh, ready to roll for us. So I'm very, very excited. And I think with that, I'd like to hand it back over to the Honorable Kevin Murphy. Thanks very much, Leah. A great job. Uh, thank you uh, for the great work that you do uh, in your community uh, to promote inclusion and accessibility. And uh, just to echo your comments, I know that there are other teachers out there that are going to step up to the challenge as you did and, uh, and encourage and work with their students. I have several in my own community and I'm really excited that uh, we can take things to the next level and, uh, and, and move the conversation along uh, and build on the energy and inspiration that our children and our students bring uh, towards this subject. Because for them, um, as each generation passes, I know myself and I have a, an opportunity to go into a school. Uh, it's, it's so exciting to talk to kids that have no preconceived notions about uh, accessibility, it's, it's a normal thing to them. And uh, they are quick to point out uh, when, uh, when one of their peers is not able to be included uh, for those reasons. And uh, it really does uh, put things into perspective and, and help us understand the amount uh, of challenge that is still out there but it gives us great hope and inspiration that um, uh, with tools like this and with people like you and your colleagues uh, that, that we're gonna get there and we're gonna, meet, we're gonna meet our goals. So thanks very much, Rick. Uh, always great to see you. 
uh, connections to Nova Scotia are are deep and long. I know even going back uh, long before the uh, the Man in Motion tour in 85, 86. Uh, but I still remember as clear as a bell uh, that day when you came uh, through our school at Eastern Shore District High School. And uh, that was my first opportunity to meet you in the spring of 1986. And, uh, and it's been a a great relationship ever ever since. So um, uh, I owe a lot of uh, the accomplishments that I've been involved with uh, to you and 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 to your um, message that I see on my wall every day. Uh, so thank you for everything that you do uh, for helping us along here in Nova Scotia and our journey to uh, improve accessibility and inclusion. So with that, I'd like to uh, turn it over now to Jennifer Burke from the Department of Education and Early Childhood Development to say a few words uh, and to show us how teachers can access uh, this great program. Jennifer. Thank you so much, Speaker Murphy. I'm really excited today to showcase the Rick Hansen Foundation School Program resources that are on our curriculum website. I'm going to share my screen right now so folks can take a look and see what this looks like. So here we have uh, the teacher information page that our minister was talking about and uh, the staff of the department, uh, Nova Scotia Department of Education and Early Childhood Development have been working very hard with the Rick Hansen Foundation to identify provincial curricula connections to their learning resources. Nova Scotia curricula from grades primary to 12 provides many opportunities for students to learn about accessibility, inclusion, and active citizenship. On the teacher information page on the curriculum website, teachers can now access the full series of Rick Hansen Foundation school resources that support this learning. And so by clicking on the curriculum connections for the Rick Hansen Foundation school program, Teachers can look for specific curriculum outcomes in their course that align with Rick Hansen Foundation School Program and resources. And just as an example, we can take a look at health education at grade two, where learners will investigate and learn about empathy. So teachers who are teaching at that grade and looking at that discipline can locate ideas for learning experiences in resources such as the Rick Hansen Foundation School Program Toolkit. And so if I go here, we can click into this fantastic website, which has a whole host of resources to support teachers. And I'll just give you an example of what just one item that teachers could be looking at. And you can see that there's a, a large number that they can access. One of them, however, is the toolkit for abilities in motion. And we'll just download that now. This is an amazing over 200 page uh, resource for teachers to access. And here you can see that teachers can go through this grade by grade and identify a series of learning experiences to support learning. And for example, grade two about learning about empathy, we see here that there's a great opportunity for students to engage in learning with a, a lesson called a day in your shoes. And along with this, there's a series of other resources going all the way through to grade eight and there's another series of resources that actually support learning from grades nine through 12. So with these resources, teachers will be able to create learning experiences that inform and inspire students to actively engage in social change to support inclusivity in their schools and in their communities, just like Leah Fulmerton is doing on a regular basis with her classrooms. Thank you so much. Thank you, Jennifer. Um, so that concludes the speaker portion of today's event.